Hey guys, it's Arlette from Chasing Joy, and today I'm just doing a quick video, um, just reflecting on a year of trying to conceive. Um, as I've mentioned in videos in the past, um, my videos are delayed, you know, when I actually post them to YouTube, uh, because I am still very, very, um, uh, optimistic and faith have faith that I will get pregnant through this process and when that does happen I want to make sure that I have time to tell all my friends and family um, before I post anything online just just out of respect for them um, so at the time I'm taping this video it's a little bit before Christmas you guys will see it um, I think the first week of January so you know it's been basically a year since I officially decided to become a single mother by choice. Um, I remember thinking about it um, for a long time. I knew about this option for a few years. And um, around the end of last fall, uh, my mom was really sick. And I was just thinking about, you know, life in general. And, you know, how long was I going to put off going after the life I want, um, you know, hoping to meet a guy. And I remember around December of last year, it was my mom's birthday, we went away, and we talked a lot about it, and that's when I officially decided that I was going to do this, and I decided to tell my gynecologist at my beginning of the year appointment, and I did not expect things to happen so quickly after that. I get in, she recommended an RE, a reproductive endocrinologist, I got in right away, and all my tests were done before my birthday in March. And I started trying to conceive then. So it's been, it's been crazy. Um, I can't believe that it's been a year. This year has flown by. 2015 just was the fastest year ever. Um, and I also can't believe it's 2015. And... I don't have a I'm pregnant update yet for you guys. Um, I imagined that things would have happened a lot quicker. I thought I was going to get pregnant the very first try, and I didn't. And I thought every try after that, and I didn't. I didn't foresee um, taking time off, and I had to do that. So I guess just so the video doesn't go too long, but just to reflect on the year highlights from this trying to conceive process have been um you know finding out all my initial tests were good that was great that was a great burden off of my chest um learning the process learning that while it is extremely expensive um a lot of the procedures especially if you're not yet moving towards IVF, can be very affordable and that the clinics will work with you. I have a discount plan. Um, other, I guess, I don't necessarily want to say highlights, but other things that stand out from this, this full year are, um, you know, the people who've been supportive, um, the people who are not supportive. I think I'm going to do a video on the the best parts of trying to conceive and the worst parts of trying to conceive um, as a single mother by choice so I'm not gonna go into too much detail now but those were definitely um, eye-opening experiences um, let's see um, learning how important communication is with your doctor has been an extremely big lesson over the last year um several times there were miscommunications with the doctor's office usually not with the doctor but more with like the the reception people or the people who are supposed to call you and then they don't call you things like that um but overall outside of the fact of me not having an uh an i'm pregnant update for you guys it it has not been a bad experience um 
it has been a stressful and a long experience and I just can't even believe that it's been a year um and I can't believe other things that happened in here, like some health issues popped up. You guys saw my thyroid. You saw that I got a pre-diabetic diagnosis. So these are all things that kind of threw me off. But actually, I'm all I'm really glad about all of them because in a way, it just kind of reaffirmed that this is the right progress process for me. That you know, I'm only 35, um, but you know, that's not 25 and my body is starting to tell me, you know, with the thyroid issue and even the pre-diabetic um, thing. So it's, it's letting me know that now is the time that if I want to be a mom, that this is the track that I need to be on. And so I'm glad I'm on it. And I know in my heart that God will hear my prayers and then that perfect timing, it'll all, everything is going to work out. And that I will be giving you guys an I'm pregnant update very soon. <laughs> um, I know that in my heart. So I'm going to keep it up. Hopefully I won't be doing a two years trying to conceive reflection video next year. Um, but basically that's how it's been. You can look back at all my videos and see. Um, you know, the testing, the OPKs, um, the, the disappointments, um, picking the donor, all that stuff. I've learned so much over the last year and, um, overall I'm still in this journey and honestly don't think that I would do anything different at this point. So... Thanks for watching, and I will be back to give you guys a baby making update soon. Uh, right now, we're in between. I'm in between cycles. At least the time you're seeing this video um, is been between my uh, cycle nine and cycle ten. So I'm waiting for um, you know OPKs and all that to get ready for the next cycle. So. Be back with a baby, make an update soon, but just a little reflection on a year trying to conceive. I don't know how many of you have been through this process. If you have, I'd love to hear your reflections thus far. If you've done any, you know, a year in reflections, please post the link in the comments so that I can check it out. And as always, please keep praying for me and sending me baby dust. And I will get back to give you guys updates. Soon. Bye, guys. Bye.